Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki. I am coming on today with a um, craft and tea box and um, they reached out to me earlier in the month and asked if they could send me one of their boxes. Um, there was no strings attached, um, no affiliation or anything. I just wanted to open it up and share it with you guys. So it is called the craft and tea box and um, they are out of Canada. So if you are a Canadian listener, um, you may be familiar with this or um, maybe I've heard of it. Uh, this is the first time I heard of it. So what they did is they sent the box and um, I went online and kind of looked up the company. The company is a really um, environmentally conscious company. Um, you know, the tea that they send is all organic and uh, they stopped printing instructions to keep the contents of their box as um, environmentally friendly as possible. So you go online and you look at the instructions um, and then it gives you each month some loose organic tea. It also gives you a craft to make. So we're gonna make this beautiful um, dried flower hoop. And um, it's just a little self care box really. And it couldn't have come at a more perfect time because you know, as you're sitting and making your new year's resolutions and mine obviously is probably the same as everybody else's, but just to have some more time for myself and just do some self care, um, this box was perfect. So I'm really excited to try it. So opening it up, it comes beautifully wrapped in this like tissue paper. Um, it's got the tea, it's got the um, contents for the project here. So let's just open one at a time. Like, look at how gorgeous this tea is packaged. So it is, um, looks like a three pack and it's purple rain, purple jasmine and purple chocolate. So I have my little teacup here and I'm gonna choose one to try. This stack is so cute. Definitely gonna keep that after the tea is gone. Um, but it talks a little bit about where they got their tea and um, the instructions for steeping it. I was just kind of reading the package as I was talking, sorry. Yeah, this is really neat. So this is, um, oh, oh my gosh, the smell. So it gives the steeping instructions for each one. So this is four minutes, two minutes, four minutes. Um, one teaspoon of tea for each one. The pictures all go together. It's really cool. So I think I'm going to try, I don't know. So I'm going to go with the low caffeine one, I think. So this one is very low caffeine, low caffeine, and very low caffeine. But I want to um, I want to smell each one. So, oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that smells, that smells so good. I can't describe it. It's really like a, like a berry smell, almost like a cherry, but I know it's not. Oh, that is beautiful too. Look at that. Oh, that has more of a floral smell there. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Mm, that definitely has a dark chocolate smell. I actually like the smell of this purple rain, um, bright and fruity. So yeah, the, I guess I had it spot on when I was smelling. The purple jasmine is light and floral. The purple chocolate is sweet and smooth. So I'm going to try the bright and fruity. I'm going to try the purple rain. So... Um, I'm just using like this double wall infused cup and then it has this that goes inside of it. And then you just put your tea in. This is just from Walmart, I just picked it up. So a uh, um, tablespoon of tea. So you can put that in there and then I'm gonna put my cover on and we're gonna let that steep for a little bit. And look how nicely, this gives such a nice like vacuum seal to it. That is just so, so pretty. Okay, let's get into the contents of the box then. So um, we've got this, which I think is glue. Little, um, it looks like it comes in a little paint container. A tweezers. Some beautiful dark mauve ribbon. Um, this is the dried flowers and it looks like a large variety of colors in there. Um, it comes with a stencil, some tool, a marker, paintbrush, and a hoop. So I went online and looked at the instructions, and um, so I didn't have to do that while I was talking to you guys. 
And this one is so easy. So there's a stencil here. And um, if you didn't want to do a heart, you could do your initial. They have different stencils on the website that you can download. Um, and then you can print out the stencil if you want, or you can freehand it. It's up to you. So what you're going to do is we're going to loosen this up. And this is a really nice wood embroidery hoop. We're going to take out the middle. We're going to put the tool over the top of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to stretch. Oops. Stretch the tool onto there. And we're just going to tighten it up. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hoop over the circle. And then all you have to do is kind of trace your heart. So I'm just gonna make a line here with my marker. And all right, and that is done. So then you can remove this if you want to. I'm gonna keep this down here. Well, let me get an actual white piece of paper. I think I'll be able to see it better than on my um, my background here. So let me just take this. Now I'm going to, I'm gonna take this piece of paper and maybe empty my flowers onto this piece of paper. I love the different colors that it came with. They're so bright. So it's going to be very um, dimensional, which I love that. Just going to separate everything out. So the yellows, the pinks. So these pinks, I think I'm actually going to kind of take apart because I want the smaller pieces. Um, and I did grab a scissors uh, that was not included uh, in case you wanted to cut these flowers. Oh, look at that. It comes with a little acorn. I'd like to incorporate that somehow. That's cute. All right. So, yeah, you can cut them apart. You can use, you know, just pieces of them. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Open up my glue. Start with one open. And... I think you can take your tweezers to pick up the flowers. So we're gonna start with, I'll start with this one. Two stuck together. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue. That, and I think I'm gonna put that one here. I'll start forming that um, crease there. Okay, so this, I just take this off. Oops. Move this out of the way. And then you lift this up. Oh my gosh, look at that color. The color is amazing. That just sits in there. Look at that color. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh. This would be amazing as iced tea also. It's so good. Mm. That is so, so good. guys I think I have it to where I want it so I'm gonna let it dry and then um, I'll come back and put the ribbon on and we'll hang it up and see what it looks like all right everybody we're back the flowers are dry 
Um, it did say that you could put a little bit more glue around the back if you wanted to. I might do that a little bit later, but I thought we'd go ahead and get it um, finished up here. I love how it turned out. I think the um, colors that they chose are just perfect. And I just think this is going to look super sweet hanging in my craft room. Um, so what I'm going to do, I don't know how well you can see this, but I'm just going to take the tool and I'm cutting just around the edge of the hoop. All right, that cleans it up quite a bit. And now to put the ribbon on, and all I'm gonna do is put it through here underneath the tightener. And then I'm gonna tie, I'm not gonna do a bow, I think I'm just gonna do a loop and pull my tails through. It's a really nice satin ribbon there, and it's all set. You guys, I wanna thank the Craft and Tea Box for sending this to me. I think this was the perfect self-care Saturday project to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it gives you that little bit of me time, and I got to enjoy some fantastic tea, and um, I'm going to leave the details for their website down below. Please go check them out. Thank you, Craft and Tea Box, for sending this, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!